Hey, welcome back to another walkthrough. For this walkthrough, we're looking at Excel 9F evaluation. Let's begin. Let's go ahead and download our materials. Let's go ahead and click on our assignment. Download materials. Once again, do not download all files. Click on each file individually. And open up your student Excel file. and make sure you hit enable editing first thing we need to do is we are going to be working with macros in this particular project macros are codes or steps that you can record uh, to automate some features of microsoft excel so if you find yourself doing something over and over and over again in microsoft excel you can usually create a macro to do those steps for you but in order to do that, we do have to have a macro enabled document. So let's come up here to our file tab. Under our file tab, let's hit save as. And from save as where it says Excel workbook here, let's change this to a Excel macro enabled workbook. And go ahead and hit save. So now we are saved as a macro enabled workbook. We can now work with macros. So the first thing we want to do is enable our developer tab. So let's go to our file tab here from our file tab. Let's go all the way down here to options from options. Let's click on customize ribbon from customize ribbon. We want to come over here uh, to this side and we want to put a check mark next to developer and hit okay. So now for step number two, let's go ahead and click on cell G17. So let's come over here to G17 right here. And we want to insert an ActiveX controls option button in this location. So let's come up here to our developer tab. Under our developer tab, let's go ahead and turn on design mode. So make sure you put a, uh, make sure design mode is gray. And then in the control group right next to it where it says insert hit the down arrow for insert and we want to look at the active x controls and we want the one that says option button it's this one right here looks like the circle let's go ahead and click on that and let's go ahead and click in cell g17 and notice now we have these little dots there those dots means it is selected so we want to hit properties so let's come up here to our controls group let's hit properties notice that we get this floating box right here that says properties I'm going to make it a little bit bigger just kind of click the outer edge and drag over it wants me to click on the name so I'm going to come up here where it says name option one button one I'm going to change this to q5e And then where it says caption right here, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the caption. I'm going to backspace that. And then let's go ahead and come down here where it says group name. Let's click on evaluation and let's uh, delete evaluation and type in question five. Do not put a space between question and the number five. So question five, all one word. We're going to go ahead and change the height property to height property to 9.75. So we're going to change height right here where it says six to 9.75. We're going to change the left property to 465. We are going to find where it says top. And we're going to change top to 234.75. We are going to change the width from 6 to 9.75. And where it says special effect, right here, special effect, I'm going to click on special effect. I want to hit the down arrow. And I want to do the flat effect. Right here it says effect flat. And I'm going to go ahead and exit out of this. So now when I click off of it, 
Notice now my button is exactly where I want it to be. We want to do that for the next two boxes here. So I'm going to come back up here to my controls group. I'm going to click on insert. I'm going to go ahead and click on the dot, the open button ActiveX control. I'm going to come here to H17. I'm going to click once. I'm going to come up here and hit properties. From properties here, I'm going to rename, hit the name. I'm going to delete open button one. I'm going to type in Q5F. Make sure Q and F are capitalized. I'm going to go to caption. I'm going to delete caption. I'm going to delete the open button one. Where it says group name, I'm going to change group name to question five. Make sure you do not put a space between question and five. I am going to change the height to 9.75. I'm going to change left to 519. I'm going to change the top to 234.75. And I am going to change the width to 9.75. And lastly, I want to change the special effect back to the flat option. And I'm going to go ahead and click off. Notice now it is in the right spot. So I need to put one more in under pour. So I'm going to come back up to my insert. Back under ActiveX controls. Click on the dot right here, the open button ActiveX control. And I'm going to click inside of cell I-17. Notice that I did not close out of my properties. So once I add it in, my properties are right where I want them to be. If not, you can go ahead and click on properties. But here I want to change the name from open button one again. I'm going to do capital Q5P. I'm going to delete the open button caption. Under group name, I'm going to label it question five again. Remember, no space. I want to change the height to 9.75. I'm going to change the left to 570. I'm going to change top to 234.75. I'm going to change my width to 9.75 and lastly I want to change it from the sunken effect to the flat effect. I'm done with my property so I'm going to exit out of it and I'm going to click off of it and now look how uniformed it looks. So what these ActiveX controls do is once we turn off design mode these actually become clickable options and you can click on these and put little dots in there for whatever your answer would be to these questions. So this is a really good way to create some type of a form or questionnaire uh, in Microsoft Excel. For step number five, it wants us to insert a command button ActiveX control in cell G7. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and click on cell G7. So right here in G7, I'm going to come up here to my controls, insert, and under ActiveX, I'm going to look for the one that says Command Button ActiveX. And it's this first one right here. So I'm going to click on it, and notice I have my crosshairs. I'm going to click in cell G7. I'm going to go ahead and click on Properties under Controls. It wants me to change the name to start. Under the caption, I'm gonna delete command button one, and I wanna type in, click here to start. Make sure you capitalize the C, H, and S. 
set the auto size property to true. So I'm going to find the auto size property here. I'm going to change it from false to true. And I'm going to go ahead and close out of my pane. And notice now I have a click to start here button. So with this button selected, I want to come up here to the controls group and I want to click on view code. And when I click on view code, it's going to bring me into my Microsoft Visual Basics for applications. So it wants me to click on the object down arrow right here and click on start. It wants me to click to the left of private sub start click. So to the left right here. It wants me to hit enter. And then the blank line I just inserted, so I'm going to hit the up arrow key, go to that blank line I just created. It wants me to type in the following comments. Anytime you want to type in a comment here, you have to start with an apostrophe. Uh, a single apostrophe shows that it's just going to be text only. So once I typed in the apostrophe, I'm going to hit the space key and I'm going to type in start button procedure. Make sure you capitalize the first letter of each word. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. I'm going to put in another apostrophe because I'm going to do more comments. Hit space. I'm going to do function. Make sure you capitalize function. Colon, one space, complete seminar information. So now I've put these two comments in here so I know what this code will do. It wants me to click back inside of this blank line under private. And in step number seven, it wants me to type in uh, the following VBA code. So instead of me typing it in, I'm actually going to copy and paste it. So I'm going to come to my instructions. I'm going to copy and I'm going to paste. So right here is my coding that it wants me to put in. It gives me my range, value. I'm not going to speak all of this out. It would take way too long. So please refer to your step seven instructions on what you need to put in here. Uh, you can copy and paste just as I did if you would like. But make sure it is uh, in there correctly. To do Now I want to save this. I'm going to come up here and I'm going to hit file. And I'm going to hit save. I'm going to hit file and close and return to Microsoft Excel. And it's going to bring me back into here. So we edited what the code does on this button right here. It wants us to exit design mode, so I'm going to turn off my design mode here. Notice that it is no longer grayed out. It wants me to test the command button in step number nine. So I'm going to go ahead and click here to start. It wants me to enter my name. I'm going to go enter the name of Tia, T-I-A, Jackson. Once I typed in Tia Jackson, I'm going to hit OK. The name of my organization is Ryan Marketing Company. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK and enter the seminar title. It's going to be Conflict Resolutions. Resolution. And go ahead and hit OK. So there it is. It put in that information here for us. So the code that we created made it so it put the answers to our questions right here into our worksheet. It wants us to now collect and click on the excellent button for each one of these. So we're going to click on the exit excellent option and it wants us to see what happens when we change our mind. So for question number four, I'm going to go ahead and change uh, to poor. So I'm going to click on poor. And I want to go ahead and click on fair for question number five. 
and notice how the original buttons are cleared and it puts the other buttons there. So once again, a really good setup for a survey. For step number 11, it wants us to insert a footer. So I need to deselect our chart, all of our different options here. I wanna select it a blank area. I'm gonna click on my page layout tab under page setup. I'm gonna click on this little guy right here, my page setup dialog box. I'm gonna click on header footer. I'm gonna do a custom footer. And in the left section, it wants me to put the file name. Go ahead and hit okay, hit okay. We're gonna put in our properties. So I'm gonna to go to the file tab and hit info, show all properties. I'm gonna put in a tag of evaluation report. In the subject, I'm gonna type in CGS and I want to make sure that my name, so I'm going to under uh, author, I'm going to right click on go series, hit remove person. I'm going to type my name under add an author. I'm going to go ahead and hit save to save our work. For step number 12, it says on the developer tab in the controls group, we want to click on view code. I'm going to go ahead and come to my developer tab and under my controls group, I want to click on view code. Look at our code here. If it's not showing up, click this down arrow right here for our object and select start. But here is the code that we want to copy. So let's go ahead and hit the hold down the control key, hit A. Control A will select everything. If not, you can just go ahead and highlight the entire text. Go ahead and hold down the control key and hit C, or you can right click and hit copy. Now we wanna come back up here to our file tab, our file button right here and close and return to Microsoft Excel. We want to add a new worksheet. So let's come down here to our little plus button right here next to evaluation, hit the plus button. It should say sheet one, right click on sheet one, hit rename. And we are going to rename this evaluation code. Hit enter. And now in cell A1, go ahead and click in cell A1, hold down the control key, hit V, or you can right click and hit paste, and it should paste our code right here in our new worksheet. All right, we are done. We need to save this as a a regular worksheet. You cannot submit it as a macro enabled document. So we're going to come up here to our file tab and we're going to hit save as. We're going to change this from a macro enabled workbook to a regular Excel workbook and also change the name just so we know which one it is. We want to change it to uh, click on the very end where it says evaluation, hit the space bar and type in all caps VBA. Visual Basic is what that stands for. So remember when we submit this file, you wanna submit your file with VBA at the end. Go ahead and hit save. And if you get this error message, go ahead and hit yes, continue saving. I'm gonna go ahead and minimize this so I know where it's at. And I'm gonna exit out of my starting materials. I'm gonna choose my file. I'm gonna to go to my downloads. And there it is, there's my file VBA. Make sure you submit the one with VBA at the end, hit open, upload, and submit for grading. And that's it. I'm gonna go ahead and close out of this tab. I'm gonna come back to my evaluations. I'm gonna click on the three dots, hit view submission. And it looks like I received 100%. Feel free, if you did not get 100%, go back and fix whatever mistakes you made. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me and have a wonderful day.